So this little beast here, this is our six by six single pair. Uh, this is our kind of our standard offering right here. On the, it's got a hopper up top, has about a 55 pound capacity, so you can fit about a full bag. We have everything gasketed up top here, so helps keep everything kind of nice and dust tight. Have these clamps up here so you can make sure that there's no dust leaking out. Uh, down at the base of the hopper, we have a slide gate here that you can use to open that. Obviously, more the more open that is, the more material you're gonna have flowing into the mill. And you've also got a little a little locking adjustment here so that you can make sure that your slide gate is staying where you set it at. You know, if you just kind of leave it wide open, then you might might uh, kind of wiggle through or get bumped or something. So um, it's helpful to just kind of lock it in place and, and kind of set it and forget it. Right down here, we've got our adjustments. If you're familiar with any of our other mills, the adjustment's a little bit different on this one versus our other our other sizes, uh, mostly in the fact that the adjustment is different. Uh, the, the wrench here is uh, an Allen wrench T-handle rather than just like a standard open wrench. Uh, on the adjustment here, we have a little sticker here that gives you indications on how far open your, your roll gap is. Each one of these tick marks on here is three thousandths of an inch. So uh, again, one small difference from this versus our other mills is to move the rolls in, you would go counterclockwise and it's, it's vice versa for our other mills. Down at the base here, we have uh, some a stand with legs. We have kind of a, a little variety, different options for you know whatever your conveyance is. Um, we have a bunch of standard options for flex augers, chain discs, kind of a wide a, a wide variety, a lot of different options, um, just depending on what your conveyance is. So on this one, we have just a, uh, a flex auger discharge, uh, and then that comes with this stand height. One little, another thing to consider with our six by six, it's a little different, is this is actually gear driven. So we have a motor on the back side that's connected to this roll and you wanna make sure that the teeth on the gears are, are mesh well. If they are too far apart, then you're gonna hear kind of a loud clanking noise and it can kind of chew up the ends of those gears. So just make sure that those are meshed. If you, if you hear you know, kind of any loud, loud sound or anything like that, um, that, that could be what it is. So uh, this is just an introduction to our six by six. Again, if you have any questions, uh, make sure you, you reach out to us, check out our website.